Today's learning intention is graph transformations and we're going to look at scaling. Again, the National Five Essential Skills are sketching graphs. The third kind of transformation we'll look at is scaling. A scaling stretches or compresses the graph along one of the axes. If we are scaling vertically, that is when we have k outside of fx, and this scales the graph of fx in a vertical direction. The y-coordinate of each point on the graph is multiplied by k, and the roots are unaffected. Let's look at an example. Example 1, we have to draw the graph of 2 fx and here we can see we've been given three coordinate points already. Now from the previous slide it's told us that the roots are unaffected therefore on our new graph negative 4 0 and negative 2 0 will remain and the only point we need to redraw is negative 5 2. We stretch it in the y-axis and our new coordinate becomes negative 5, 4. So what ha has happened here is we have multiplied our y-coordinates by 2. Therefore, every time you multiply your y-coordinates by k, if k is in front of fx. Having a look at example 2, here again we have been given two roots. 2, 0 and 5, 0. Therefore, they will remain the same. However, we have a coordinate point, which is our maximum turning point of this graph, which is 3.52. We need to half the y coordinate. So we compress this time. And that new turning point becomes 3.51 by halving our y's. If we want to scale horizontally, and the k is inside the bracket next to x, so f of kx scales the graph of fx in a horizontal direction. The coordinates of the y-axis intercept stay the same. Remember, you must label all points on your translated graph. Let's look at an example. Example 1, when we've been asked to do a transformation in the form f of kx. So we have to do f of 2x. Now, this is a compression this time. The x coordinates do the opposite to what you think. Therefore, our new graph becomes negative 2, 0 and negative 1, 0. Our two roots are basically the x coordinates are halved instead of multiplied by 2. And if we're ever doing a mapping, basically to get our new x coordinates, we multiply by 1 over k or you do the opposite. So instead of multiplying by 2, we would divide by 2. So negative 4, 0 becomes negative 2, 0 and negative 2, 0 becomes negative 1, 0. Hopefully this will be clearer when we look at example 2. Here we've got a graph where we have three points, 1, 0, 2, 2 and 3, 0. We've defined f of 0.5x, which is the same as halving. Therefore, instead of halving, we are going to stretch and double our x coordinates. So the point 1, 0 becomes the point 2, 0. The point 2, 2 becomes 4, 2. And the point 3, 0 becomes 6, 0. So we have multiplied all our x coordinates by 2. Now try this example on your own. Please pause the video.
and the answer. At National 5, we have seen this before when you've been asked to draw a graph of sine of a half x. If we're wanting to draw that graph, that means we have one full wave in 720. Therefore, our new maximum is 180 degrees 1. Our new minimum is 540 degrees negative 1 because our graph has been stretched. Please self-assess your progress and if you need extra practice, turn to page 43, exercise 3K or on page 45, exercise 3M. So what have we learned today? Today, when we look at scaling a graph, if k is outside the bracket, we multiply the y coordinates on the graph by k. And if k is inside the bracket, we divide the x coordinates on the graph by k.